Hi, this is Johnny Farty Pants, and I'm going to show you how to make a portable version of any software that you have using Thinstall Virtualization Suite version 3. Okay, the first thing that you will need is a copy of Thinstall Virtualization Suite version 3. I have one here, and also an application that you would like to make a portable version of. The first part of this process is to do a pre-install scan using Thinstall. What this means is that Thinstall is going to take a good look at my computer uh, and it's going to record all of the settings, all of the software that's currently installed, uh, all of the drivers, all of the registry files. OK, that's the pre-install scan completed. Now then, the piece of software that I'm about to install is Autoplay Media Studio 7 by Indigo Rose Software. And it's a pretty cool piece of software that makes it very easy to build CD-ROMs and DVD-ROMs and uh, Autoplay applications. Uh, I'm just going to enter my serial number here. Sorry that I'm covering up my serial number here, but I don't want to be accused of encouraging software piracy. I hope you'll understand. Yes, I accept the license agreement. Yes, yes. Alright, click finish to button to exit. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shortcut onto the desktop here. Version 7, there we go. OK, now my piece of software that I want to make portable is installed. I should be ready to go on to the next step. Uh, the next step is the post-install scan. What this is doing right now is it's just doing exactly the same uh, process as it did when it done its pre-install scan. It's, it's basically looking at my computer, uh, taking a good look at all the files. Uh, all the settings, all the program files, all the software that's installed, all the drivers, all the registry, and it's taking a snapshot of that. Uh, it's going to record that. Okay, now it's finished. It's uh, taking a snapshot, and it's asking me this, at this stage here. Basically, it's saying, when you make this project, what do you want the uh, the main EXE, the main executable file to be. Uh, I've got a choice of two here. Do I want the Autoplay Media Studio 7.exe or the Button Maker.exe? The, the Button Maker.exe is actually part of the Autoplay Media Studio. So I want the Autoplay Media Studio 7.exe to be the main uh, information container data container, sorry. So I've selected that and then continue save results. Now what this is doing right now is it's, it's compared the two snapshots, the snapshot it took before I installed any software and the snapshot after it uh, and it's compared the two and it's identified the changes uh, basically the piece of software that I installed uh, all the drivers, all the registry files, everything and it's taking that difference, all the files related to the PC software, and it's storing it in a separate folder. Setup capture complete. Quit. OK. Now I want to find the files that was created by Thinstall. Uh, it'll be in the Thinstall installation directory uh, in a folder called Captures. The easiest way to find this is just right click on the Thinstall icon on your desktop, down to Properties, find target and that will take you to the installation directory. Uh, this is a folder here that I'm going to be interested in. You can work directly with this folder or the way I like to do it is to right click create shortcut and then drag the shortcut onto the desktop. Uh, you can keep this shortcut anywhere you like. Uh, normally I would keep mine in my documents but for the duration of this video, I'll just keep the folder on the desktop. 
okay this is where things get a little bit more complicated uh, you want to open up your folder on your desktop the captures folder inside that folder will be a folder that's got the same name as the application that you've decided to make portable uh, obviously the one I was working with was autoplay media studio 7 so I'm going to open this up and inside your folder I'll have something like this uh, various folders a few registry keys uh, a batch file the first thing you want to do is you want to open up this file here the package.ini you open that up with notepad and you're going to change some of the settings in here the first setting you're going to change is the compression settings this part here uh, it's this compression, this middle setting here, the compression type equals none. You want to change that none to fast. Uh, the next part you're going to be changing is the isolation mode settings, uh, and in particular this one here, the right copy. You want to change that to merged, the same settings as below. Save, and you want to save that. Next thing you want to do is you want to go into the desktop folder and copy this file here, the attributes. So I'll copy and then you want to paste that back inside the main folder. Once you've done that you can actually delete that desktop folder there. Okay, now basically you can delete almost every folder here. Uh, everything, the only two folders you really need is a pro program files directory and system system. All the rest of these folders you can delete. You need to keep every other file here, uh, the registry settings and the, the batch file, but these four up here you can just delete. And these two over here you can just delete and you should be left with something like that a programs file program files directory folder a system system folder a couple of registry key settings uh, a batch file the package and attribute settings uh, now this here the batch file you want to run the batch file and it'll go through this process here of of building the application there we go complete OK. So it's created this bin file inside the bin file and I think we'll just uninstall the other version. OK so that's that's that now uninstalled uh, and what I have now is a completely portable version of Indigo Rose Autoplay Media Studio 7 that I can take anywhere. I can put on a, a USB flash drive uh, and it's ready to run.